For this meal, you are going to need salmon, brown rice, extra virgin olive oil, broccoli, red and green peppers, and your favorite low sodium seasoning. Now, this is what I purchased for this meal. As you can see, my salmon is already seasoned. I am going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Now here, I did not do this on this clip, but you want to take a fork and poke through your salmon so that way your seasoning gets all the way through your salmon. Now if you like a lot of sauce with your meat, you want to add a little more olive oil. Now here I'm adding water. Now I'm going to add some red peppers and I'm going to also add some green peppers. Now I'm adding red and green peppers because it adds more flavor and also it adds a little more color to your food also. You want to do something like this especially if you're having a little get together at your home you want to add a little color to your food. Now here I have my peppers here and I'm going to store it in this Ziploc baggie and place it in the freezer for later use. My oven is at 350 to 400 degrees and I'm going to place my salmon into the oven. Now on my stove top, I have my water on ready for my broccoli and my rice. I have about a cap full of olive oil for the broccoli and two cap fulls of olive oil for my rice. Here I'm just getting ready to cook my broccoli and I did add some black pepper to my broccoli. And here you see my rice in this container because I do rinse my rice before cooking it. It's an old habit and um, I think it's a good habit because you just want to make sure that um, your rice is clean when you cook it. I know they say that if you wash your rice you're going to wash a lot of the nutrients from it but I still rather um, wash my rice or rinse it with water. Now here I am putting my broccoli on medium and my rice here is still on high because brown rice is harder to cook than white rice so you want to make sure you have a lot of water boiling and you want to keep it on high at first because you don't want your brown rice to come out hard. As you can see here, I'm poking through my salmon like I mentioned before because I want to make sure that my seasoning is um, well throughout my salmon. I just took it out the oven, but it will go back into the oven. And at this point, I am going to go ahead and flip the salmon over because I want to make sure that it has a nice color on each side. So at this point, it is going back into the oven to cook a little longer. At this point, you might want to turn the temperature down on your oven. Now, right now, you can see that my rice has boiled. A lot of the water is um, gone, but I still have a lot of water left. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the water because I don't want my brown rice to become smushy. I want it just right. So at first, you do want a lot of water, but when your brown rice is halfway cooked, about 15 minutes later, you do want to remove the excess water. So right now I'm going to turn my heat down between medium and low. And my broccoli is cooking pretty well so I am going to go ahead and um, turn it to low because it's almost done. And right here I am going to just make sure that all my salmon has sauce over it because I don't like dry salmon.
Just making sure that all the salmon is not dry. At this point, everything is cooked. It took about 40 minutes for the brown rice and 30 minutes for the salmon and about 20 minutes for the broccoli. Bon appetit. Enjoy.